Hey, by the way, Halloween's only like a month away. I know. I mean, do you know where you're going to be at? Hashtag life decisions. Hashtag sexy ghost. I think I'm going to go as a ninja turtle. Hashtag gotta be Raphael. Hashtag Leonardo sucks. Hashtag the turtle, not the Italian Renaissance painter. Hashtag. Live from the sewers, this is the Turtle Power Podcast. This is your audio source for all the news, reviews, and insight into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now join your hosts, Brian, Alex, and Darby. Bossa Nova! Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? Excellent! Now it's time for the Turtle Power Podcast. (laughs) And uh, welcome to another episode. Please don't. (laughs) Not, Not that. Not Just the guy in meditation voice. Huh? It's eight o'clock in the morning over here, man. That's not gonna. Well, you know, there goes my me. morning wood. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, mine went up the second you answered the phone, Alex. <laughs> uh, I, don't I don't really know what way. to say. <laughs> uh, no, for reals. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Turtle Power Podcast. Uh, your source for all of the news reviews. For your source for all cock jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all Booyakasha jokes. And, uh, and Turtles news. <laughs> uh, from around the, uh, world. So, uh, yeah. Welcome back. Uh, welcome to all our new listeners. We've got, uh, uh, a lot. Uh, we got a lot of new <laughs> <laughs> listeners from our uh, our uh, last episode uh, because uh, in case you didn't figure it out already um, uh, yeah I did get a chance to go on to uh, Jay and Silent Bob Get Old a uh, a very a very popular uh, podcast from with uh, Kevin Smith and uh, Jason Muse and um, Jason Muse <laughs> Snoogans um, <laughs> that. Uh, you know, it was a lot of people listen to that, and uh, it was it was a complete pleasure and honor to be able to uh, to talk to them, even just for uh, about ten minutes. So, um, <laughs> well, uh, you I'm, talk, I'm, you talk for like a total my, of two seconds. Second. I talk, yeah, well, that's true. Because uh, Kevin yeah. Smith <laughs> talked for about twenty five hours. No offense, Kevin. That's what he does. does. That's what he does, and he knows that's what it. he does. Absolutely. Yeah, and he's uh, a great storyteller. He is, and uh, I mean that's his job. He's a storyteller, and uh, but yeah, no, it was awesome, and we got a lot of a uh, lot of tweets, a lot of uh, new listeners uh, coming out of that show. So uh, thanks for the rub, <coughs> thanks for the uh, Jay and Silent Bob rub. That could mean totally different things, of course, if you take that out of context. But uh, <laughs> um, but uh, so yeah, so I, I sh- uh, where are my manners uh, with me as always are Darby and Alex, guys. Welcome back. Hey. You know, it's amazing how in one sentence I could just really hate Justin Timberlake, but then just love him. Just mm. in one sentence, I went I from never hating him to loving him again. Oh come on, man! Nope. That's that's some good spank done. material. I'm done. That's bull honky. He, he's only saying what we're all thinking, man. Just saying. I mean, not the first not part. Of the, it's not the first part of the sentence. The, the last part of the sentence. <laughs> uh, first part I, I of the sentence. That, yeah, I hated yeah, him. He, but then he, the but then the second half of the sentence, I was like, okay, he's won me back. He's, no, he's you know he uh, he, he knows his stuff. Many levels in my book with that with that statement. So oh, please shut now, up. Now, whether or not it was something that he came up with, or if yeah, it was it was obviously no. no I, 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 see, we don't know yet, so we can't just say Justin Timberlake is a rap guy. Justin Timberlake read that he was a rap guy. Ooh. He acted as that he was as if he was a rap guy. Well, you know what? I mean, he did he did say that Leonardo sucks, and according to the TMNTpedia page, uh, most of the world agrees with him. Oh, eh. 
That, well, that's, although that's although rap fact. is only rap is only ahead of Leo by by of one vote right now. So Alex, if you and I want to just vote for Leonardo right now, we could actually make Raphael the least popular turtle. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> I live on the podcast. We could actually just make him the least popular turtle. Leonardo that's should not have to suffer fine. because of Jason Biggs. Donatello is just so much ahead that I can actually vote for Leonardo right now and not worry about Donatello being passed up by any of them. Uh, you know, skewed results of this uh, poll uh, mean nothing. Uh, we all know that Raphael. Nothing the from the turtle. official Ninja Turtle Wikipedia page or Ninja Turtlepedia page. <laughs> really, that doesn't mean anything. Hey, Where we all get all is... our source for our character spotlights that we pretty much read word for word from the Pedia page. <laughs> this is not true. This is not true. <laughs> Listen, uh, where I find my where I find my character spotlight by just hitting the random page button. And, hey, there's a character <laughs> I could talk about uh. <laughs> when uh, when I just hear uh, various, you know, people out and about in the world talk about their favorite character. I swear I hear Raphael more than any other. Actually, I, I have a I have a, um, a coworker of mine. He's got Raph tattooed on his forearm. Just a huge Raph. Wow. Look at that. See, bam. Unsolicited, but then, but then I, I got I got a couple I got a guy who works a couple desks away, who is a huge Leo fan. Really? Aren't they both? Aren't they both kind of d bags though? No, no. Well, the Raph one, he's it's kind of a d bag. Eh. And if the and if the guy that's a couple desks away is you, I swear to God, Alex, it's 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 because there there are no other Leo fans out there. There are, there are, <laughs> there are. Jason Biggs isn't helping the situation, but there are. Is Jason Biggs a Leo fan? Jason probably Biggs. not. He's, doing he's it not even mind. a Turtle fan. He's not even a Leo fan. Well, he voices Leo. He's not even a Leo fan. It does kind of seem like it's just another job for him, which is okay. That's fine. Yeah. Not saying that everybody that hey, you gotta make money, right? Yeah, so. that works in turtles has to be a super turtle fan. But I know you can only have sex with pies for so long. You know, you go and make money doing that for so that's, long. That's that's what he's always gonna be known as. So yep. Oh, I think he even mentioned it in the Jay and Silent Bob movie he was in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, look at that. Call back. Mm-hmm. Full circle. Nice. Yeah, sure full did. circle. Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, let's get uh, let's get started into the show proper. I guess. <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> um. So, uh, bef- well, actually, you know what? Even before that, let's. Uh, let's I want to mention something because it's it's. Amazing, uh, Alex. You tweeted out a uh, link to a uh, Teenage Mutant uh, Koopa Troopas <laughs> video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this, uh, check out. I thought that uh, was me. Was it? Was it you, or was it, it Alex, was, it or was it me. both? I'm pretty sure that was me. I'm pretty sure it was me. Eh, maybe I saw it like ten minutes before you did. I remember seeing it before you tweeted it out. I could have sworn I posted it. Oh. Well, I tweeted it about forty-five minutes after okay, I had let, seen it. Let's so. not have a uh, I'm about like three online. cups of coffees in out of my Ninja Turtle <laughs> mug right now. So my brain is just all kinds of frazzled. Let's not have a internet troll fest here of who got first. Uh, September twentieth, two thousand thirteen. I tweeted it out. <laughs> uh, either way, uh, check out this if you're a. You know, I really got to spill this coffee out of this Leo mug that I'm using right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it this way. Everyone's everyone's a Mario fan. If you're not a Mario fan, then... Why? That's not true. What? Really? I know. I'm, I'm a Mario fan. I'm just saying. You can't speak for everybody. You don't know everybody. <laughs> but if you're a Turtles fan, how could you not be... A uh, Mario fan? Mar- you grew up in the same time frame. I mean... I kind of like Luigi better. Hmm. Well, in this one, that works out better because... Uh, yeah, this is true. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I like Luigi better than Mario. I felt I felt Mario was way too athletic for his size. Mm. I just felt like he was just hogging all the credit. He like, was. Luigi busted his butt too, man. It's, yeah, uh, man. I mean, Luigi worked hard or something most of the time. He never got any kind of credit. What about Yoshi? Yoshi doesn't get any credit. They wouldn't even made it half past the level i know your... i know he, he he like works his butt off to save baby mario in in the yoshi game only to have him like jump off of his back in order to jump over a cliff in in super it... mario world <laughs> to sacrifice yoshi every time he needs to jump over a big gap it's so awful i saw a uh, uh a it was um it, it was some fan art where it was just 
him jump, uh, him doing the exact same thing, oh, and then yeah. just Yoshi and looking. Yoshi just looks so depressed and so heartbroken <laughs> as he's being betrayed by <laughs> Mario. Oh, that's just so awful. So awful. Uh, so, but, uh, if, uh, if you haven't seen this, definitely uh, check our uh, Twitter feed. Uh, you'll see the link on there. And then also, uh, Alex and I had a uh, had a little bit of a TMNT day a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Screw you guys. A month ago now. Yeah, I know. Sorry, Doug. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks well, for inviting me. If you were still in Florida, we would have. <laughs> Um, you know, it's just nice to be invited, you know, maybe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's true. That's I, true. That's I the least we could have done. Seriously, you booyaka showers. <laughs> my, my, my wife was at school the other day, and one of the kids wasn't invited to uh, um, uh, this other kid's birthday party, and the kid that wasn't invited spit on the kid's brownie. So Nice. Wow. I, understand. I understand how you feel. That's no, how you don't. they do it. No, you didn't invite me. Enjoy yeah. So. Dick. <laughs> uh, well, I guess technically Newberry, right? Yeah. We had a great, yeah. Well, Archer actually. Oh, oh, so oh. A, little, a little more podunk. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so yeah, we we watched. Uh, well, first we went to a Gator game, and then we came back and we watched uh, the original movie, and <clears> uh, <throat> we saw stuff that we've never even seen before, which yep. was interesting. Considering how many times you've seen the movie, exactly. Well, we watched it naked. That's that's what he was. Well, well, well yeah. You got to let your berries dangle every now and then when you're watching the turtles. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Better clean up that couch afterwards. Uh uh-uh. uh It's kind of hot and sweaty in Florida. It, 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 can. it, it can Turn the AC off and everything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we we uh, we watched the movie. We watched it with. Uh, well, it was just you and me, and then I guess the the girls came in a little bit later. I think they felt like they had to. Well, were they Lindsay, naked also? Uh, in, well, not really. <laughs> um, I just really wanted to throw you guys off your train of thought. <laughs> uh, Lindsay, Lindsay, well, we were we were quoting word for word in the movie yeah. the entire movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Lindsay and, and Jess both joined in at times because I guess they just seen it that many times as well. It was it was fun. It was, it was good. Was Did we eat pizza? We ate pizza. We ate pizza. Did you have Domino's? No, no, no. But that's what they eat in the movie. I know. I, know. They, there are, I don't think there is a Domino's out in. Mm-hmm. There, well, there's one that delivers out here. It's in oh. Jonesville. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would that would take like forty five minutes probably. Mm, Thirty seven and a half. Ooh, nice. he's timed it. He knows. That's, that's not quite thirty minutes. <laughs> 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 they don't do that anymore. Thanks for that movie. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're right. Um, but uh, yeah, so we did that, and then we uh, we played a little a little game, a little 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 Ninja little Turtles game of hide the sausage. Sorry, I'm like all over the place there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, we... I need another cup of coffee if I'm going to keep up with you, Alex. <laughs> I'll be right back. No, we watched uh, or we played uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Out of the shadows, we did, and uh, so it, it was. Um, I guess that, that segues into our, our first uh, our first news item here. April O'Neil, Channel Three Eyewitness News. We got the news. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the shadows. What, what just happened? <laughs> oh, okay. Out of the shadows. We uh, we got to play some Out of the Shadows. Now we played it on Xbox. Um, mm-hmm. uh, because yeah, it, because it, PlayStation just doesn't want to release it anytime no, no, ever. It's not. It's not PlayStation. It, so what happened was so a couple things. First of all, um, originally it was going to come out on all the consoles at the same time. Then Xbox got the exclusive rights because it was part of uh, Summer of Arcade. Mm-hmm. Which they have every year, and the Turtles was the final uh, game of that uh, promotion. So uh, they delayed the PS3 version for a month. <laughs> but what happened was is that as they were approaching, 
the PS3 release, which was... 24th? Yeah, going to be this past week. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess so it would have been last week that they announced on their Facebook page that uh, the PS3 version is now delayed again. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Unfortunately, delayed to the point such that we have no... (laughs) No really state when it will be coming out, which uh, <laughs> is is kind of scary. I I can't imagine that they would just tr- trash it, but that's the first thing that popped into my head. Now, was, do you oh, think no. maybe they'll add some content just to just for the sake of adding it for the PSN customers since they've had to wait? To apologize nice. to us, That'd be yeah, great. yeah, that would be great. I don't know if they will. Um, they were from. Um, different interviews i i listened to um the word was you know as far as any future work any future dlc or anything like that uh it was all kind of up in the air still so um depending on how the game did i demand reparations (laughs) so (laughs) uh, yeah so we should mention that so uh darby have you played it yet because i think no you were waiting for the ps3 version um uh, Alex, you actually just sold your 360. No, uh, it's in the process of being sold. Yeah, and uh, so you've got you're waiting for the PS3 version. Yes. I I ha- I went ahead and got it. I, I'll get it on both, but uh, I, I went ahead and got it, and, the, and I brought it over to your place so that we could play it. Mm-hmm. Um. So, uh, but yeah, I'm still looking for the PS3 version because I'm a <clears throat> PS3 fanboy and I yep. want my trophies. Yeah. So, um, but we, nevertheless, we did play it, and um, mm-hmm. I guess mm-hmm. before we before we get into it, I should also mention there's a Steam version as well uh, for PC, and if um, if you have that version, I guess they had some issues with some uh, multiplayer, and it's uh, just been patched. So, uh, if you do have the PC version, go ahead and look for that update and uh, enjoy. So, all right, let's get into Let's get into it. So you've got kind of your your headquarters, um, which – so you, you turn the game on, you get the menu, you go into your headquarters, which is the sewer. And the sewer is is laid out pretty much just like it is in mm-hmm. the Nick series. Yeah. Right. Uh, just with the <laughs> out-of-the-shadows version of the turtles in there. Um, April, she's older. Um, she's not. Donnie still has the gap in his teeth. Yeah, no. Yes. The, the, see, this is a, it, it's very interesting how they they really pick and chose like what characteristics they wanted. This is this game is really an amalgamation of of various incarnations of the turtles. What a great uh, word! Thank you. Yeah, that, that was really nice. A little uh, too early for it, but really nice. <laughs> um. <sighs> Yeah, so so they've got they've got the the sewer and it's fine, you know, it's cool. It it uh, all the different sections of the <laughs> sewers, like uh, so you can go to Donnie's workshop and you can upgrade the weapons. Um, you can go into Splinter's little dojo, which is you know right outside of his room, uh, to to work on you know uh, upgrading your combos and stuff like that. Um, so which that, that, the upgrades are really cool. Um, yeah, and you've got you've got upgrades in mid game too. Yes, which um, we didn't even realize until after playing for like an hour. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, and and let me just really quickly throw out there. I know we were going to probably get to it, but this game is really designed for online multiplayer, not for local. Yeah, good point. So we because we had we. We had a, a, another friend of ours, Artie, who never listens to the show, but we'll we'll uh, shout out for him <laughs> just to make screw him that back. Mexican man. <laughs> wow, well, see that's some that's some, uh, ladies and gentlemen. What you just heard there was uh, Cuban a Cuban saying screw that Mexican. Mexican. Yeah, got it. Hate yeah, it's there. Hispanic Heritage Month. I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, you heard it here first, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Turtle Power Podcast. Um, so uh, okay, so we we had him there, and he was like, "Oh, cool! You know, four players. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll jump on." And uh, t- no, it's it's only two player local. Um, ah. And now that's for the normal game. We were able to do th- 
four-player arcade mode, uh, which is similar to the normal game, except uh, the camera view is totally different. It's more like what we're used to with, um, you know, back in the day, arcade mode. Side-scrolling. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that, interestingly <laughs> enough, that version is actually something they added in right at the end of the development, where somebody at Redfly was like, hey, wouldn't it be a good idea if we added this in? And they, they put, threw it together in like a couple days. Because they all they had to do was just reuse some uh, some areas that they've already had, you know, some environments, and then just fix the camera to a certain location. And they just went ahead and did it. So, um, so we were able to do that. Um, right away, we, we noticed uh, the, the different fighting styles. <laughs> Um, um, I would I would go ahead and say, and Alex, let me know if you agree with this or not. But uh, if so, so you were obviously Leo. I was obviously Raph. Already played as Michelangelo, which um, it actually ended up working out in his um, benefit because he had it, no idea what he was doing. Exactly, and <laughs> Michelangelo is the perfect character for that because it's he's literally a button masher. I was about to say. Um, Playing through on the single player, you end up switching a lot more um, through the turtles, so you do end up getting to play them more. And and it wasn't until then when I was when I've played as Michelangelo when I totally realized I was like, wow, there's uh, it, he really is just a button masher. So I would almost suggest to anybody the first time you play this game to to go ahead and pick Mikey just just to get a feel for the game, and then because it's really easy to switch um, when you're playing the normal game, very easy to switch between turtles. Uh, you just use the directional pad. Um, so on 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 top of that, you do get the uh, the different fighting styles like Raph. So obviously, you know, I'm gonna spend the most time with the Raph. He's very like finesse, like because everything is like Muay Thai, so he's up and close, right? You got because he has no range with his weapons anyway. So. Right, exactly. No, yeah. So I mean, we've mentioned this before. All the fighting styles fit the turtles. I would say is spot on. Would mm -hmm. you agree? Absolutely. I yeah. think we can all agree on that. Yeah. And uh, with Raph, because his, he's got a lot of, like, it, he's not just swinging around nut chucks, you know. It's a lot of, like, knee, headbutt, elbow. Like, you got to time all of that perfectly. And when I first started playing this game, it was, I wasn't doing that <laughs> at all. <laughs> and I didn't actually learn that until I went to the dojo and, and started training with Raph. So, um even I would even suggest go ahead and doing that. Um, uh, even before you start the game, go ahead and go to the dojo and uh, and try out some of the different characters. Try out the different combos, and, and you you will get a, a feel too for how the, how the uh, the characters play. Nobody's going to do that. No, absolutely. I know. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, we met, they should, but they're not going. They should, but you know. Yeah. Once you get the, this game in your hands, you want you want to jump right in. Mm -hmm. um, so in Donnie's workshop, you can uh, you can update uh, the weapons for everybody. Uh, Leo, you can actually connect his two swords and create a blade staff. Donatello's got the uh, the gravity gauntlet, the, uh, mm -hmm. the the you know the power glove. <laughs> that Kirby awesome gave him. That they actually <laughs> gave that to him. Yep. Um, Let's see. Nice. Uh, Raphael has got the iron fists, which, um, I, I, I mean, I think of Man with the Iron Fist, the the recent movie that came out, and I don't know if that's where they got their, um, their inspiration for that, but uh, it, it suits him very well, <laughs> considering he's very you know up close and personal. And then Michelangelo, you can upgrade to the uh, Kusaragama. Which is what he uses on the show, which on the next series. So, um, let's see what else here. I'm, I, if you haven't figured out, I'm, I'm I've got the game up right now. I'm, I'm going through everything. You got concept art. Uh, you can, they put held the concept art on the fridge <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you unlock it. Cool. Um, so you got purple dragons, um, Krang. Yeah. Uh, foot soldiers, you know, you, you unlock it uh, as you go along. Um, let's see, uh, like I said, arcade mode, and then the, the normal game, which you actually launch from a, a map of New York City. Um, 
Splinter and Leo and Raf are kind of looking at the this map of New York City and, and looking at all of the different uh, uh, info and everything. Michelangelo, I should say, is watching, sitting watching TV, and uh, and Donnie's working in the workshop. So sounds about right. Uh, yeah. So uh, as far as gameplay goes. Um, I mean, I think it's fun. Uh, the so the way they do the storyline is they'll have little cut scenes where it shoots to uh, like little comic book art. Mm-hmm. It's different. <laughs> I it, I'm not quite sure how to describe it. It's um, it's the best way to put it. It is different, and because it, it can be a little. A little too much sometimes, and I got that just from the hour and a half, two hours of playing that we did. Yeah, like I just don't want to. I don't want to. I just want to. I want to see an actual like cutscene. I don't want to see comics every single time. And but, the the comic style that they use is yeah, it's, it's crude. Yeah, it's crude, and they use the character style that they use for the turtles in this game, mm-hmm. um, which. Is, uh, I, I actually think it looks better with the actual characters in the game rather than the cutscenes. <clears throat> I almost feel like if they were doing cutscenes, then... Yeah, yeah uh, maybe. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, it it kind of creeps me out. The comics kind of creep me out a little bit. A little bit. And yeah. It's just because of the nostrils. Uh, yeah, the nostrils. That's true. Because <laughs> when you look... when you that, I totally agree with you. The nostrils on the... Uh, turtles during the game you don't really notice them right because they're darker mm-hmm. you know, the, the characters skins are darker and it's a dark environment everything's dark in this game which is normal turtle stuff but those cut scenes those those comic cut scenes everything's really bright and their nostrils like that's all you stare at it's just the nostrils. <laughs> that's all you look at is the the, the dang nostrils you, just, you don't even know what they're talking about because all you're like all you're doing is staring at the screen like Oh uh, yeah, I guess they would have nostrils. <laughs> right, I know. Yeah. Right. Well, where's the yep. ear, ears? I don't know. So that's. Funny. I don't know. I mean, so I, I know we promised some uh, some some video, some out of the shadows video uh, content. So we're gonna obviously wait until we get everybody's got their PS3 version, and then we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so uh, be on the lookout. We will we will get to that eventually. Um, Hopefully sooner rather than later, because um, like I said, we're all waiting for the PS3 version. I mean, I have the you know, like I said, I have the the 360 version, but I'm looking for that PS3 version. So, um, so Alex, you want to say anything else about the game? Um, <clears throat> other than again, local uh, for the main campaign mode was left a lot to be desired, especially since the because of the fact that it. When we were local, it went split screen, but it only mm. took up eighty percent of the screen. The rest mm. of the screen was all greened out. It was yeah. just awful, just just awful. Yeah. But the gameplay itself was good. I didn't really, we didn't really get too much into it though. Not enough for me to really give a a solid review. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's um, it's it's good. I, I think the, I mean, if you look at the Metacritic for it. It tends to put it around like a like somewhere between like a six and a seven, um, which I guess I is fair. I I would I would say that maybe a little low, but um, you're also biased. I am a little biased. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, let's. Uh, I guess you know. Let's move on. Um, l- l- yeah, as I said. Uh, look forward to that video content. We will be providing it eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I should say that the uh, I, I, should, I just I actually did look it up on uh, Metacritic, and the Metacritic is is much lower. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like four or five. It's not fair though, because there's some of these that throw it off that give it like a zero or a, like a like a four. <laughs> what gives it a zero? Uh, what did they get a zero in nostrils? <laughs> oh, those are so. Those are the user user reviews. So. Oh, you can't go off of user reviews. People no. are stupid. So this this one is uh, so this is a critic review, and it gave it a ten out of a hundred. 
Ouch. That'd be like a, <laughs> it's sounding good until you said out that's, of 100. Yeah, that's that's mm. pretty rough. It's 10%. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. I don't know. It's it's hard for us to, to you know, be a fair i guess just <laughs> it's it's, it's right. 15 bucks it, it, it's it by the game. yeah i mean see Judge that's the other yourself. thing too you got to take that into account and it's 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 fun let's put it that <laughs> way um the only reason you're but you're not buying the game to play by yourself right that is true that is true. you're Def- you're <laughs> you're buying the game for online multiplayer yeah you want to play with your friends that's what you want to do so judge it on that don't judge it on the single player campaign mode. I agree. Yeah. All right, guys, let's move on. Let's move out of video game news and into comic book news. I strike two on my way down. Donatello takes out a third with his staff. Already the pudgy ones are starting to panic. Raph loves this stuff. He's not alone. Why is he narrating? Is he crazy? Hardcore crazy. I love these guys! Ah! Um, Darby's behind. (laughs) (laughs) Shut up. Oh, my God. I'm still, like, 13 issues ahead of both of you, so shut up. (laughs) More like like 10. Um, Uh, So uh, I'll get you for that one, Alex. (laughs) Adventures number three is out. Uh... That's uh, that's the series that uh, is pretty much uh, scene for scene copying the uh, the original Nick series or the new Nick series, I should say. Um, it's just reproducing uh, episodes of the Nick show into comic book form. And money, they, money, money. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, also, uh, IDW issue twenty six uh, just came out uh, this Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, City Fall. That would be City Fall <laughs> number five, four. Yes, I haven't read that one yet. Yeah, so Derby's very behind now. He's very upset. So, um, so you guys for how yeah. far behind you are. We, we are catching up though. Alex and I are catching up. Um, yes. So we we're, are. We're in like the mid-teens right now. So I think we're, what, we're 14? Up. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that sounds right. Um. And uh, you know we're doing all the the, the micro series and the you got the uh, the Foot Clan uh, micro series coming up too. So uh, we're putting in work for you guys. That's what all, yes. that, 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 that's what it comes for down your here. enjoyment, people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> how we slave over our work for you. Uh, <laughs> I get up at eight in the morning for you people. <laughs> uh, Ten a.m. for us. <laughs> Ten a.m. for us. We got to sleep in a little bit. Uh, God. Also, um, I should mention uh, IDW uh, has just released uh, Classics Volume 6. Actually just got it in the mail last night. Say Uh, what? Yeah, buddy. Ah, Good for uh, you. Look at you. You actually read the comics. No, you don't. (laughs) See, I start. See, this was my problem: is that I got into yeah, you when stuck IDW, at reading the comics. Yeah, no, when it's IDW okay. started, I started reading it, but then I was also going back and reading the Mirage Volume One, and I got, I was really into reading Mirage Volume One, and then I fell behind in all of the new IDW. So, and man, what a freaking difference! <laughs> There's, what a difference when you, when you get into like. These issues, man, like, it's always, you know, I haven't read all of this yet, but because it just got here last night, but man, there's some crazy funky stuff that happens in these Mirage uh, issues. Nice. It gets super, super sci-fi. Well, that's all, that's all Peter Laird right, right there. Well, no, these were, let's see, these were done by, um, Art and Story (laughs) by, uh, Rick McCollum and Bill Anderson. That was 42. Uh, 43 was by Paul Jenkins. And the story, it was the story by Paul Jenkins. Art by A.C. Farley. Letters by Mary uh, Keller. And issue 44, art and story by Rick Arthur. I meant the influence. 
Oh, well. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Try to put me in my place on the podcast. Uh, clearly I meant the influence. Um, it's just yeah, jackass. It's just so out there. Yeah, seriously. Sure. <laughs> well, I don't want to get, you know. No, we they do come, you know, they come back and, you know. They do. They've got their their issues that they do as well throughout the uh, volume 1 series. But anyway, I'm telling you though, in the in the new city, in the not the last one that just came out like two days ago, but like in the last issue, like Eastman's Eastman's doing this. Yes. Yeah. Okay, just making he's, sure. Yeah, and um, you can well. definitely t- it's it's actually really dark in some places, like that you really wouldn't expect to see if you grew up with like the '87 Turtles. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. They're, they're, you got these gangs in this all-out war, and there's just moments where Karai just cuts a dude's head just or just slices his stomach open just blood flying everywhere and it's just crazy oh yeah this dude like stabs another like he just throws a knife right into another dude's neck and you're just like oh oh, yeah that that, that happens in this comic doesn't it (laughs) It uh we actually did although although leo's starting to get little conflicted feelings in the last issue that i read which is good Mm -hmm. the uh we did we actually did get a uh a question a uh i uh via twitter yeah via twitter uh this is from uh, are we doing that now or are we gonna do it <laughs> well i'll go ahead like, and jump this one in here it's relevant, it's relevant to yeah. what we're talking oh, okay. about okay gotcha uh, he tweets us says do you guys read the new idw comics uh what do you think of the uh spoiler alert reincarnation story uh says he actually loved it um i loved it i think i went over that like 13 episodes ago yes we got a lot of new listeners man yeah i know i know no i'm just saying like no i when i was the only one reading the comics screw you guys uh <laughs> seriously yeah, i'm just saying I, we're, all three of us like, are behind so uh, it was like my favorite part of the new <laughs> like that's what really got me into the idw series was that whole reincarnation storyline the the red bandanas having a meaning to them yeah mm-hmm. You know, all that. Yeah. Like, to me, that's what really got me into it. Uh, just the, the the fact that they gave storyline to how they got their colors. Yes. Has never yeah. been done before. Nope. That was fantastic. Absolutely um, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was, uh, that question was from Mitchell Netzer at Mitchell Netzer. That's N-E-T-Z-E-R. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, no, it's great. Um, and uh, if uh, Mitchell, if you're uh, if you're if you're playing catch up like we are, um, it it the series keeps getting better and better too. So um, it's it's and it's interesting. I like how they do the little mini arcs. You know, um, they've got. Uh, well, let's see, Alex. I actually tweeted a uh, or I didn't tweet. I I uh, text messaged you a link the other day. This is um, what I've been using for uh, in my role of catch up. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yes, the, uh, yes, the this guide. Is, yeah, so this is from uh, tmntentity.blogspot.com, and uh, if you go on there, um, so this is a shout out for them. Uh, they've got a re- and they've been keeping up to date, which is great. Um, they put up a essentially a, a, an IDW TMNT continuity timeline. Mm -hmm. Nice. And uh, you can go through and essentially figure out what order you need to read the comics in. And it incorporates, so obviously it's more than just 1 through 26. Because there's all of the micro-series, there's um, the, the, there's the annual, the 2012 annual that came out, you know, where does that fit in? Um, you you kind of have to read the micro series too, just because they they mention it a lot in in one through twenty six. They'll just have these two characters interacting with each other, and they actually go back to the micro series. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they say it a lot. They're like, oh yeah, hey, you remember when Alapax did this? And mm-hmm. and then there's a little dot on the bottom that's like, please see micro series number yep. three. And that's you know what's really cool about that is that that's a uh, that's an old school thing from uh from back in the mirage volume one very early on they used to do that um 
even from volume one, huh? Like yeah. the first comic. And it's like, yeah. please see this other comic that we Not haven't the written first yet. Issue. <laughs> <laughs> the first issue. The first issue. Please see this issue that I swear to God is going to come out. <laughs> Unless it's on the PlayStation 3. <laughs> Says, so uh... Yeah, no, no, like, like issue, like it'll further on. It would, it would reference their micro series because uh, remember they had the the four issue micro series for each one for, you know, Raph, Don, Leo, and Mikey. But, um, and it would do that, and and so like the the in this series, the IDW series, the first time I noticed that where I was, like I had I had screwed up, uh, was, um. The Leo Screwed one. I, I passed the Leo, the Leo, uh, the Leo one, and well, it didn't take me long to figure it out that. because Leo got beat up by somebody, and I didn't know why. And I was like, "What the hell happened?" And you had to, you know, yeah, it happened in the micro series, so I had to go back and you know, I stopped there and then went back and yeah, figured it all out. So nobody can blame you for skipping Leos, though. I mean, <laughs> well, it wasn't. I didn't mean to. <laughs> So let's see. That would have been uh, so using the handy dandy continuity timeline here. Notebook. That would have been issue nine, and I would have said, "Wow." Any handy dandy notebook. Micro series number four. So, um, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's very handy. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and, and, and tweet out a link, or uh, we'll include a link to this in the uh, in the uh, show notes. So, uh, also great. tweet out a a. Um a picture of turtle nostrils. Oh, did some point today. Turtle nos. Yes. Hashtag turtle nostrils. Uh, <laughs> it's going. It's going on there. I got my computer. I'm on it. <laughs> All right. So, um, in addition to uh, uh, issue twenty six, uh, you got issue twenty seven coming out October twenty third. Issue 28 will be November 20th. Uh, that will end City Fall uh, with Issue 28. And then uh, Issue 29 is set to come out December 11th. And that will begin the Northampton arc, uh, which they talked about at uh, Comic-Con. So, they're nice. From Playmates! So let's get into some collecting news. Um, a lot of the news, speaking of Comic-Con, man, <coughs> these segues, I didn't even mean to do this. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> a lot of these, uh, a lot of the, the, uh, the Turtles uh, uh, action figures toy line that uh, was uh, discussed at Comic-Con in their uh, playmate. Which we covered. Game, which we did cover. Uh, a lot of that is hitting stores now. Mm-hmm. And uh, including... Including the, uh, I'm about to lose so much money, <laughs> which they're referring to as the, the the retro collection, which is essentially the original action figures. Uh, they're out again. Yeah, they're again. out. They're out they're, they, they, <laughs> you know. uh, so this is the same ones that you know, they, the original ones they came out in, with the 25th anniversary as, uh, as well. They were cheaper when the 25th anniversary came out. Mm-hmm. Um, and now they're like Toys R Us has got them for thirteen dollars. Mm-hmm. Toys R Us dot com. Um, they got you know obviously the four turtles, uh, Splinter and Shredder. Um, but uh, in addition, you got the uh, the party wagon, the retro party wagon for sixty bucks. Sixty dollars. Mm-hmm. Interesting because ah. here's here's the here's the really interesting thing to me: the brand new Shell Razor. When like full price is thirty five, yep, right, and it's got all kinds of crazy stuff going on with it. The simple retro party wagon is sixty, sixty bucks. Well, now, it's retro, man. You that's, know why? That's, because that's the word. This yep. is, no, retro. it's because it's because they want to sell it to adults, and adults have more money than kids. Well, adults have money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah some adults have money. I don't. <laughs> well, not Darby. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, and then uh, the uh, that's a lot of money, man. That's okay, a- so you and you compare. Okay, so you compare the well, the retro collection thirteen dollars to the classic collection, which is you know the super articulated version, which is you know based on the original uh, cartoon uh, mm-hmm. style, twenty dollars. So it's a little seven bucks more. 
It's also a larger figure. Much larger. Yeah, so. Yeah. Damn near twice the size. Uh, I'd like to point something out really quick um, as I look at the figures. Yeah. Uh, for the um, the classic series, which we... Uh, uh, the retro series, which we just retro covered. Yeah. Um, all the turtles have five stars except for Raphael. And then... <laughs> oh, come on! In the, uh, in the much larger classic series... All the turtles have five stars, except for Raph, who has three. Uh, just something now, I just happened to notice. Right, and because out. Donatello's looks like he's uh, Tracy McGrady with his one googly eye there. <laughs> Don't be hating on Donnie because he's got five stars and Raph has three. Uh, yeah. Tracy McGrady. You know, <laughs> green looks good on the turtles, Ryan, but not on you, man. Dude, no way. That's that's so wrong. I'm just saying. <laughs> Raph looks amazing. The... I, I mean, I'm, I've got no. it right here. It is an amazing figure. Okay. Don't even get Dude, the way you talk about Raph like that sounds kind of. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, we've so we've got uh, so we've got the retro. We've got the classic. We've got uh, the party wagon. Party we've got wagon. the mechs. Ugh. Oh, the mechs. Why? Ugh. Why? Uh, and I love it because notice they call it – it's not just like mech. It's, it's retro it's mech. Retro mech. <laughs> because they had those. Because they had it in because 2003. The... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And those are $50. $50. They're, those are – oh, my god. Yeah. I feel like my wallet's calling for the police. It's getting raped so badly. Jeez. It's just so bad. Fifty dollars. It, it it includes a figure, so you get a figure. With <laughs> Apparently, it's Raph, which is why it has no stars. Right. By the way, and I noticed well, that. I want you to notice something that the Raph that they have in there is the Raph from the the retro Raph, the eighty mm-hmm. seven Raph. You know, the well, I guess I was even before that, the original action figure Raph. Yeah, right. the retro and classic thing is really throwing me off. Um, yeah, so it's not the 2003 RAF, which, okay, the, so, the, so you you put a 2003 mech with a retro RAF action figure. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, Except that that's not the series that it's from. Right. <laughs> uh, interesting <laughs> that it actually fits in there, though. But, That's uh, what you said. As I'm, as I'm oh. looking, I guess they are uh, about the same size. So yeah. I mean, I, it's not going to be the 2003 Raph because those toys didn't sell nearly at all. At all. I mean, yeah. a lot of that has to do with the the marketing that was going on for that, though. Sure. I mean, I think we can all agree with that. But it, it, facts are facts. They didn't sell, so. Of course, they're going to put the classic series because it's a, it's another way to push the classic series. Mm-hmm. So, I need to get Leatherhead and the Rat King. I love yeah, the new two. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess we can mention that we've got um, Cockroach Terminator, uh, Leatherhead. Uh, uh, which, by the way, time out with Leatherhead. Yeah, um, they could have done so much more with this figure. Oh yeah, they um, could have, but he really didn't have much in the show. If you think about it. Yeah, I guess so. He he, he only looked, had like the crystal, and that was it. He maybe just, just for like, collecting purposes. Like his his mouth, like I'm I'm looking at mine, and his teeth are just very crude. Like they're like it's just not well done. They're just see that. Dr- essentially drawn on for the most yeah. part, yeah. and hasn't even been taken out of the package. And like you can see, like just missing like white um pe- like it just looks awful. Chipped away. Chipped away, like, right? Peeled and then, away, peeled away. I would have liked it, liked him to have like a a moving jaw. Yeah, I yeah, thought that it would, would have been have a good idea. A lot but, of sense. Well, you're not taking him out of the package anyway, so who cares what his jaw does? Well, I do because maybe I want to play with him one day. <laughs> nice. Does he come with any accessories? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I think it's just him. Um, look Doesn't even come with a crystal, huh? No crystal. There's a yeah, yeah, no crystal. I would just. Yeah. It, the problem with me is that it looks just like some generic dinosaur character. Like it doesn't 
Uh, or, if yeah, I showed like that an alligator. To, just yeah. yeah. If I showed that to somebody, not to, telling them, you know, even somebody who's, uh, you know, somebody that knows stuff about the turtles, and if I just showed that to them without the box or anything, and said, "What is this?" They say, uh, "I don't know, some sort of like alligator thing." Is it Godzilla? It doesn't. With, yeah, it, yeah. You know, it kind of looks yeah. like Godzilla. Yeah. It just does, it doesn't. Arms? I don't see that, and I or I see that, and I don't think Leatherhead. Right. You know, it'd be cool too. Like besides the movable jaws, if it, if he had the changing eyes too. Mm. Uh, That'd be cool. That would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. See, there'd be goes from normal mode to beast mode. <laughs> beast mode. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah. Um, Baxter Stockman's out there. In his little yeah. mech suit. Stockman pod. Yeah. yeah. Now, he was actually a mech, and he's ten. He's $10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, all they've also got the, the stealth turtles out there. They've got the uh, the flingers. <laughs> the, the flinger turtles. Flingers. Um, they got yeah. the ooze-chucking turtles. They've got the, uh, the talking turtles. They've got the... Well, actually... I hate sound. the talking turtles. I hate the talking turtles so much. I was playing with them the other day at Target. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just annoying because it's like yeah. you have to lift their arm, and if you really want to annoy people, just hold the <laughs> arm up, and they just hold that syllable for as long as the arm yep. is up. Yep. I was <laughs> – Instead of turtle power, it's like turtle. Oh, yeah. yeah, just as wow. long as you hold the arm up. Okay. Yep. That's funny. Huh. You didn't um, notice that, Ryan? No. No, I did not notice that. You can't go to Target today. I'm gonna, well, I'm going to Target uh, later today, so I think I'm going to have to go and find one. You should be like, hey, Jets, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, you got the 11-inch uh, figures, which are still out there, too. Uh, that's the Leo that you've got, right, Alex? You've got the 11-inch Leo, the big, the big one. Alex loves playing yeah. with his 11-inch Leo. I do. I do. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, goodness gracious. Um... Uh, I guess like, we can mention um, that uh, Toys R Us does currently have some stuff on sale. They've got uh, shell razors down to 24. Um, they're much, well, we've got, uh, we, we talked about it. Somebody's, uh, one of our listeners, I can't remember who it was, they had a, their review of the uh, the sewer lair playset. <laughs> and and how it's kinda, horrible and uh, not worth the money. Not up to snuff, yeah. It's actually a hundred dollars now, down yeah. from one twenty apparently. Yep. So too much money. Just grab a piece yeah. of cardboard and have your kid uh, teach your kid how to have an imagination. <laughs> Done with it. There is a pop up pizza playset though. Yeah. No, I'd say that that's actually probably a good investment right there. Twenty that's, bucks, right? Twenty bucks. Yeah. 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 Down from down from twenty eight. And mm-hmm. it's uh, that's the one that folds up and it looks like a little pizza box, and then you open it mm-hmm. up and it's got the little playset. I think that's that's a, probably a good buy right there. So. That's pretty solid. I'm, I Depends on how much you I'm, really love your kids. You know what? I might actually get one of those for my little uh, display. Actually, that would actually work out real good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's how you sound it just now. Yeah. <laughs> That's, what, that's what happens. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, folks, that's out there. Um, that's stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if, you, if you've got a uh, lack of a segue, yeah, that's out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you've got uh, some feedback for uh, for any of the uh, action figures, uh, go ahead and send it in. Uh, Turtle Power Podcast at gmail dot com. Or uh, can somebody just tell me where to find Fish Face, please. You don't have Fish Face. I don't. Have, I can't find Fish Face anywhere, and I'm not going to go to Amazon and pay five dollars more than what he's worth. When I can get him for like eight ninety nine at Target. I don't think they are eight ninety nine anymore at Target anymore. Yeah. Not fish face. If I if I see one, I'll grab one for you. Without a segue at all. We got some uh, some TV news here. <laughs> Well, we were talking about the Nick Turtles a little bit. But. Uh, so, uh, just released this week, uh, Season 2 uh, is going to set to debut on October 12th at 11 a.m. And so, we're back to Saturday mornings <laughs> for mm-hmm. premieres. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, kind of weird, but okay. And just a couple weeks away, too. A um, couple weeks away from butt cannon. Butt cannons? <laughs> it has butt cannons? Boy, I love me some butt cannons. Yeah, uh, yeah. get that butt cannon going. <laughs> Go to the gym, work on my butt cannons. <laughs> um, yeah, two weeks away uh, from today as we are recording. And uh, we've got a link in the show notes to a uh, article in tvguide.com. Uh, they've got a, a, a little preview video in there as well um, from that first episode. <laughs> and uh, it says uh, in the first episode, uh, the mutation situation. The turtles find out that alien Krang uh, have dropped mutagen canisters all over New York. Throughout season two, the heroes will have to recover these canisters before more mutants are created. Meanwhile, Krang and Shredder have joined forces to stop the turtles. Something Weren't tells they already me more joining forces are going to be created. Yeah, so something tells me more toys are going to start popping up pretty exactly. soon. Exactly. Well, yeah, probably. And mm-hmm. also, we this was discussed over at Comic Con too. Um, it's funny how all this stuff is hitting, you know, coming to fruition now. Um, this whole you know, concept that you know the turtles were going to have to you know get all of these uh, canisters and everything. The Krang are trying to mutate everyone. We thought I believe our friend Toka be, told us about that. Yeah, and we <laughs> thought that that was going to happen at the end of season one. Turns out it's the very beginning of season two. So, mm-hmm. um, so go on over to uh, TVGuide.com. We've, like I said, we've got the link in the show notes and check out the uh, little clip for season two. Uh, on to movie news. Uh, I've got a couple new picks that have leaked from the uh, set. They're gone. Yep. And they're yes, gone. They are. <laughs> and they're gone. But uh, <laughs> being uh, the uh, your source for all of the Turtles news that you need, we have them. So uh, if you go ahead and... Because we steal them from other people. Yeah, that's, well, that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> we copy paste before they can take it down. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what we do. Uh, credit where credit's due. I guess we should say that Latina Review did post these originally, and then we're told to take it down. Uh, Hispanic Latina Heritage Review. Month. What's that? Hispanic Heritage Month. They, yeah, that's why they're allowed to still exist. That's why no, Michael Bay didn't just Review. completely destroy the website. <laughs> oh man, Latino Review is. If you're a Star Wars fan, you know about t- Latino Review because. Uh, they are the ones that literally, like, it's almost every other day. Uh, I guess, is that a literally or a figuratively? I don't know. Literally? They, <laughs> if it actually happens, it's literally. Uh, they keep releasing Star Wars news. Uh, but the problem is, is it's always just rumor. They claim it's news, but it's really just rumor. This was the first time I've ever seen them actually come out with something solid. So uh, if you go ahead and uh, we've got the link in the show notes. We will tweet these out. We will put them on our website for our – Until we listeners. get a cease and desist order from Michael Bay. Right. And then I'll just change Twitter accounts. <laughs> so I, see, that's the thing. Once they hit Twitter, they can't tell Twitter to take them down. I will not go quiet into that good night. Yeah. Not for Michael Bay anyway. Not for Michael Bay. Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead gonna, and talk about. I'm gonna buy a picks. billboard. I'm just gonna put it up on a. I'm, screw <laughs> Michael Bay. I hate Michael Bay so much. From the set. Uh, now I should say that one of the pictures is a essentially a larger picture of the the leaked pictures that we've seen already. Yes. Essentially, the Pizza Hut uh, couch. <laughs> uh, uh, there's no way that would sustain their weight. Well, or their shells. Right. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Um, okay. So Unless let, Donnie figured out a way to just like use a, you know, what, what are those things? The balers just to like crush pizza boxes to like microscopic level. So they're so compact that it, maybe it can. And it might Possibly. be But then I can't way. imagine that's very comfortable. I've got, but, I've got the blown up pictures here and it, it does kind of look like that. It almost looks like the bottom of the seat is like. A lot of pizza boxes. Just, that yeah. doesn't sound comfortable. Yeah, I mean, you, it's Beggars New York City. Pizzas. They could just walk up and grab a couch real quick from the like dumpster and then take it I'm down. I'm pretty sure there's there's many in the sewers to begin with anyway. Probably. 
All right. So, it, uh, listeners, if, you, if you're, um, you know, uh, listening right now, go ahead and go to our website so you can look at these pictures with us. So let's talk about this this first one with the, with the couch. So um, we've seen the pizza boxes we've, uh, as the couch. We, we You can see on the left in the background there's uh, like a Pizza Hut box uh, lounge chair. <laughs> <laughs> Lack of a better word. Uh, there's Pizza Hut box uh, coffee table. Coffee table. <laughs> uh, there's more pizza boxes on the uh, side. Yeah. Look it's... at all this product placement. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you look... I'm not quite sure what that is uh, on the f- bottom right of the picture. It looks like a beanbag. Beanbag. And there's a skateboard on top. Of, made out of chopped up pizza boxes. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you look up uh, from the beanbag chair, in the, so behind the couch, it looks like that would... Sleeping quarters? Yeah. It yeah. look like, like hammocks yeah. that the turtles right. are going to be sleeping in. And... By the way, how awesome is Donatello's setup, though? Hold on. The command center? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Brian, you're taking too long. You're taking it. Get to Wait. the good part. When... <laughs> God. Yeah. I wonder what how many times Jess tells him that. the turtles have? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, let's leave that in. Boom, boom, let's boom, 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 boom. What incarnation of the turtles <laughs> did they ever have hammocks? Uh, the Michael Bay ones. <laughs> you know what? It kind of looks like these hammocks would fit their shells, kind of, because they're curved already. Yeah. And and obviously you see a red sheet in one of them, so that's got to be Raph's. And then there's a blue sheet next to that one, so apparently Raph and Leo are sleeping together. Um, <laughs> no, no wink, wink. And uh, Donnie's command center is just – Okay, wait, no. Before we segue over there, uh, <laughs> notice we've got on the left side of this picture there's don't care. like some clear plastic uh, – I don't know, yeah. something. There's some artwork in the background. There's a picture <laughs> of the Brooklyn Bridge, looks like. There's a sign that says Fasten Seatbelts for some reason. For um, some reason, it's a road sign. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it's, it's a random collection of junk is, yes, is all it is. pretty much. Uh, but notice on the very far left side is a chair. Yes. And that is the chair for the command center. Correct. So the couch... And everything is actually looking over at the command center. Is that what we're calling it, the command center? Sure. That's what I'm, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's there's so like 7,000 TV screens. So, yeah. 9, 10, and 11, 12, 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, I knew you were going to count. You 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 28 computer screens. But what bothers me is the farthest right one in the picture. Yeah. Doesn't that kind of look like like an Xbox screen? Um, I see the well, green and white. I just think like it's an Xbox screen. Yeah, it's, it's could hard be. to tell. Yeah, could be. I mean, that's uh, yeah. It does seem like that hue of of, of Xbox. Very good it just kind of looks. Uh, um, but like the wall of TV screens, they don't really fit together well, do they? <laughs> no, not so much. And uh, notice that 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 chair is made of skateboards. Yep. See that? Mm-hmm. It's made of skateboards, which I can't imagine, once again, is comfortable to sit on. Well, they have, I mean... It's curved yeah. for a shell, obviously, yeah. but... Yeah, that's true. Um, and, and, wait, like, do you need How all does of that? a turtle sit down, anyway? Do you need all of that? See how big their shells are. Do you need all of that uh, grip tape on the uh, skateboards? Is that good for the shell? I'm not sure. Maybe it shines it up or something. Maybe if you wax it. <sighs> Buddy Mikey! <laughs> um, it's hard to get an idea of what in God's name is on this command center. There's just there's stuff everywhere. It's I, just a cluster. Yeah. Um, is that but, DJ Hero? No. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look. You know what? I can totally see Mikey just spinning some spinning some vinyl on that bad boy. Mm-hmm. There's a shopping cart on the far right. Yeah, don't know why. Crap, again. Yeah. There's some sort of... There's, like, graffiti on the wall at the yeah, top. top right. Yeah. And on the left. Right. Which kind of looks like it. Like, either Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, which would be... Mm. Mm. Yeah. A great shout-out. Right. Or it could be, um... 
what was it uh uh was it critters that, uh, uh sure yeah yeah it does well that's what that that's what raf saw in Raph the first saw. movie right so yeah. that could be too no nah, i don't think it's critters yeah, yeah. what does it say yeah. it, it, uh, <laughs> did it say shut what is it, is it, it say says, shut? Yeah, I like it says shut up or yeah. something. I don't it says know what shut. It that's all it says and then underneath is some sort of like silver face and there's some letters off to the side of that that you can't really tell but right oh that's i've seen that that well that silver face i've seen that before i know i've seen uh, that before not not in not in turtle history i I, I believe that's more product placement it's all product placement it's michael bay yeah Mm -hmm. So, uh, listeners, if you uh, have any other insight into these, uh, if you spot any turtle goodness or other goodness from these photos, let us know. Um, There's also a random small chair off to the side, up to the right. Oh, yeah. That, right that, below no DJ Hero. Anybody, any of them could fit in. <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe that's for Splinter. Maybe Splinter. Maybe it's for uh, Splinter. Hey, he's, he's tiny. He's, he's a tiny, tiny guy, little, apparently. Little... Very, very tiny. That's because that, Yoda. So weird, guys. You, you actually might be right. That, 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 oh, that. I know I'm right. He's going to yeah. be Yoda. He's going to be even, this I never tiny even put dude who needs a walking cane to walk around, and then when it's time to fight, he's just going to kick everybody's butt. I know it's going to happen. I never even put it together, like, just in my mind of seeing the four turtles, which are gigantic, and tiny splinter. That's just going to be I mean, I kind of like it the other way around, like in the Knicks series, when there's when, where Splinter's genuinely taller than the Turtles. He's more yeah. of a father figure in that essence. Yeah. It looks like it. It's <sighs> going to be weird. Weird. You're, you're. All right. So, mm-hmm. we've got that. That's that's the first bit of Turtle new, turtle movie news we've had in a while. Uh, they've, they've kept the... Uh, and what was the saying we said a few episodes ago? No news is good news. Um, and here we are getting news. Yeah. Um, still on track for uh, August uh, 2014, I believe. So, oh, thank God it's not on my birthday anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it won't live. My birthday will not live in infamy anymore. That's great. That is great. You know what's I, funny too is is this keeps happening. Is uh, uh, I keep uh, you know I have my turtle my Ninja Turtles case on my phone. And every time I like meet people or I'm somewhere and I pull my phone out and somebody notices it, <laughs> everyone's always like, hey, did you know that they're making a movie uh, coming out really soon? And it's like, no, dude, I, I just have this Ninja Turtle case because I'm not a fan at all of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's awesome. I know, right? <laughs> Depending on how much I've had to drink, I might just go on a rant and yeah. tell them how stupid they are. Or I might be like, oh, yeah, my podcast and I talk about it all the time. We're that actually a good podcast. Answer, no, we're not. That and, uh, you, need to, you know, I've had a lot to drink when I say we're a good one. And uh, <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, I love it. But, yeah, no, that, keep, that keeps happening. So apparently the word is out there amongst, you know, bros that there is a movie coming out anytime in the near future. But apparently – it just keeps happening to me. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's. It's like herpes. It just keeps coming back. The, the word yeah, is out there. It keeps burning when I pee. What kind what? of word is out there? That's that's the problem. Is that I swear everyone thinks that it's still that that draft script that we reviewed very early on in this show. No, you know, if they just keep Leo, I mean, I'll, I'll give them like a passing grade. If they just keep Leo. Using Mikey as a shield against bullets. Just the entire movie. <laughs> Just the entire movie is Leo holding Mikey up getting shot. <laughs> it's okay, Mikey. Go back to sleep. Obviously, uh, we're still going to go to the premiere. Of course. Well, yeah. Course. We're going to be like comic book guy from The Simpsons, you know? Worst <laughs> turtle movie ever. And we'll only see it three more times. Today. <laughs> uh, uh, that actually sounded pretty damn good. Today. Good. <laughs> uh, that movie was so bad. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go see it again, though. Like right now, just jump back in line. <laughs> That's gonna do it for our news this uh, this month. We had the news. Oh, nice! There it is. Uh, there good. it is. Finally. I like it. Yeah. You know you're gonna have to do that from now on, right? We had well, the news. He he said it in the first one, but then just never really did that much again. Mm, yeah. You know, it's good. Um, so we are going to return to a uh, an oldie but a goldie uh, segment we like to call. Character Spotlight. (laughs) 
Doop, doop, boop, pow. Yeah. We should have a. Was that like Batman? Like bang, zaff, boom, pow. Zoink! You forgot zoink. Zoink. Zoinks. Oh god. Uh, yes, character spotlight. Uh, this is a segment of the show where we each pick a random character from Turtle lore and we talk about it for a little while, mm-hmm. as if we know. And uh, as Alex, if, yeah, uh, as if we're not as... just reading it right from the TMNT Pedia Turtlepedia page. <laughs> uh, well, some of us did a little bit more than uh, than Darby. Um, Alex says the uh, guy who legitimately in one episode was like, oh, I don't have a character spotlight. Let me flip through this giant book of characters that I have here and uh, read word for word out of the book. <laughs> uh, this book here? This, this one? <laughs> Mockingbird? No. Uh, no. All right. Oh. Uh, Alex, uh, yeah. as a quick yeah. rundown for our fans, you've reviewed uh, or discussed, I should say, uh, Rat King. <laughs> Leatherhead, Cuddly the Cowlick, yes. Tatsu, Garbage Man, and Venus de Milo. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> it's a shame Alex has done one less character spotlight than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hashtag Venus de Milo spies. Hashtag Turtle Nostrils. Oh, and by the way, holy cannoli, I watched just, I don't know why. I don't. Why know would why. you ever subject yourself to that? I already I, know what you're going to say. Why did you? Because I did too. An episode. Of yeah, me too. The next mutation. It's on the hub. It. This series is on television, people. It it's is on, on television and it's on Netflix and it's awful. It's on Netflix, yes. But even if you if you just have like cable and if you have the hub, it's on there, yeah. and you can watch it. And so then you can be upset with hub. yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! It was. It was awful. Oh no, awful! There, there, there's no words it, other oh. than there's no word other than awful. It's awful, 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 awful. Venus awful de Milo is the best a part. Capital awful. <laughs> I believe if you look in the trash of of the next mutation, you'll see um, a bunch of steroid needles in their in their garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, it was it was. So now, did you watch what? You only watched one episode. I watched one episode. All right, and it, it wasn't was, like it wasn't like Raiders of the Lost Ark, where your face just melted away and your no. head exploded. <laughs> no. It was bad though. I, I watched it because watch? of Lindsay. Which one did you Lindsay? watch? Sure, oh. blame the wife. I, well, I, of course. Well, that's all. That's, that's the only why you I get one, her. right? That's why yeah. you get um, one. You know, I I, I I I didn't even watch it all the way through. Um, she, I can't even remember which episode it was. I think it was, I don't even remember what season it was. Um, what? all I know is it started out with them Didn't in they the only Jeep. have one season, two, they, they had two, they had two. Oh, um, and all I remember is Raph driving around in the Jeep and then running into some trouble. And it like was, awful. Does. and we were watching it cause she wanted to watch it. She's like, Oh, it's turtles. I'm like, no, it's not. No, yeah. It isn't. <laughs> No, no, uh, honey. I don't think you understand. This is not. This is not. So we we, we watched like it. it, and she her face was just just the look of disgust. Honey, just what did you make that. me do? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what did you uh. let me do? I should say. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's um, just. It's awful. Should have never watched, happened. I watched Going Ape. Mm. Where in this episode uh, there was a gangster uh, gorilla. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah, and yeah. it was uh, like there was other gangsters that you know he and he talked like a gangster. Hey, he's you wise guy. <laughs> so he talked like Danny Zuko from Greece. <laughs> um, no, no, more like. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to get these turtles and make them sleep with the fishes. Toidles. Yes, toidles. These toidles and toidles. make them sleep with the fishes. My funny ha-ha. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So, so was, good fellas, gorilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, man, it was it was rough. Jessica <laughs> watched it with me for a little bit, and <laughs> she's like, what is this? <laughs> I said, this is the next mutation. 
<laughs> for for those of you who may be listening who've never watched any, I mean, obviously, I'm assuming if you if you listen to the show, you're fans, and uh, but if you've only watched the new Nick Turtle series, don't watch the next mutation. <laughs> No, 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 no. Watch it. Earn your freaking stripes. Hmm. Earn, Don't watch earn it. your earn your street cred like we had to. Don't watch it yet. <sighs> Don't watch Don't it. Don't watch yet. it yet. Wait till you actually have like a love for the turtles. Right. Like you can lose respect for the turtles but still love them type thing. There you go. It's kind of like, like you, you could sleep you, with they, them and never call them again. Exactly. Type thing. Exactly. And then, but there's that you know that 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 next mutation when you when you revisit it, it's that awkward period where it's like, wow, I just slept with this person, and I just remembered I gave them herpes, and now this is an awkward. This is like that awkward after math. Yeah, right? it, it's it's like, the no no. It's more like the coyote ugly thing where you wake up next to a girl and you actually chew your arm off to get away from them. Mm-hmm. Is mm-hmm. sort of that. Yes. See, it, only in this case, like the next mutation, I slept with the next mutation, and then I wake up and I go into the mirror and I look up and it says, "You have AIDS." Yep. <laughs> that, that's about it. Yeah. That's that's oh, that's what I get, man. and it's gone, and it's gone. Uh-huh. Like that, like next mutation's gone, and you have AIDS. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm I'm looking through here. And you're going to cut out the last, like, two minutes of AIDS talk. Got it. No. <laughs> no. You guys have okay. to live with that. That's all you. <laughs> AIDS is not a hot button anymore. Nobody cares. Yeah. It's all about AIDS. We learned this on South Park. Yeah. I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm not saying it's not. It's good. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying nobody cares as much as they used to. It's, it's... Eh. Cancer's the thing now. It is. It's all about cancer. We we learned this on South Park, guys. This remember because uh, Cartman wanted yeah. to, uh, you know. Yeah, no, hey, I I live in Colorado. I know all about it. Hey, you know, it's 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 cancer and teen pregnancy. I carry I carry my balls around in a you know in a wheelbarrow. You know, it's just, I hop around <laughs> on them like a hippity hop. A hippity hop. <laughs> oh, that's a great episode. Did you guys watch the new one? Did you guys watch? The no, new one? no, we're no, not going. Don't talk about it. Now. No, I haven't seen it. No. How about uh, we talk about the characters I've done, Ryan? As we talked I, about Alex and then went on a giant tangent. We, yeah, That's because of Ian's Tyler. Way off track here. Uh, Thank you, do, Ryan. Here, let me let me just grab the wheel from you and spin it around and get okay. us back on track here. Spin right, that, Alex. Wheel. Alex, go ahead right. with your okay. Alex, go ahead with your character spotlight. Oh, I thought we were gonna go down the whole list of. Oh, okay, sure. Things. Okay, all right. So, uh, Darby you has see how well prepared we are on this show. Metalhead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chet Manley. Chad Manley, baby. Mona Lisa, Kirby, Zog, and Asuka. Man. I'd like, been... I'd like to point out Chet Manley may be one of the best character, it, probably the best character spotlight we've done. <laughs> so I, I will definitely give that up to you, Darby, because oh, we had no idea. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. And, and he, was such, he was such a pivotal character mm-hmm. in the Turtles' history, and yet nobody knew who he was. <laughs> Uh, I covered. Would you follow the Nick Turtles, in which case he doesn't exist yet. Ooh. Ooh. I covered the Intergalactic Wrestling Federation version of Raphael. You covered Raphael in his hot pants. That's what you did. <laughs> Same thing. Raphael in his, is in his assless chaps. No, hey, he had the whole his whole. It was a whole suit. It's just after a while, he took the top off, and you just had the, the pants on. Yeah, he took the top off with his hot pants. Oh, jeez. Uh, Baxter Stockman, Sagi Yojimbo, Toyd, Casey Jones, and Token Raza. Usagi Yojimbo was the one that you literally just pulled the book out and pulled out of your butt, by the way. No, I used the wiki page as well. <laughs> Dude, I heard you turning the pages. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Alex. Two more mainstream characters, Ryan, seriously. Yeah. Ser- okay. Yeah. Seriously, right? Okay, guys. <laughs> seriously, right there, Chet. Huh? Oh, hey, Chet, Chet yeah. was awesome. Don't be hating on Chet. All right, yeah, Alex, me. your character hmm. spotlight. Oh, it's my turn. Yes. All right. Well, my uh, my character spotlight. Please don't do mine. Please don't do mine. Is Arnold. <laughs> okay. Good. Not mine. Uh, I'm 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 guessing probably Darby for sure knows who Arnold is, right? Who? Arnold. Arnold. Can you, how you spell that for me? A H N O L D. A H N O L D. I'm going to look it up and then act like I do. Okay, good. <laughs> so, 
Arnold is Hun's brother. <laughs> massive man mountains. He's a massive man mountain. He's a lean green smackdown machine. Ooh, nice. And that is uh, actually the book that he appeared in. The only book that he appeared in. Oh. Um, in the book, uh, basically what they did is they it was a wrestling tag team. Uh, him and uh, Hun. And uh, they were known as the Massive Man Mountains, which is kind of reminds me of uh, was it Typhoon and was it was it Typhoon? And typhoon and Earthquake. And earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake mm-hmm. and Typhoon. Yep. yep. The natural um, disasters. Yep. So the natural disasters. So, um, but but he kind of looks more like he'd be he belonged with the Godwins. He, d- <laughs> he does look like a Godwin. He looks just like a Godwin. Um, so yeah, he looks he he looks just like a hillbilly, you know the the kind of like straw looking hat. It's all like cut into and the um, overalls with the, like the flannel shirt underneath. And he looks a lot like Hun, and he's billed, but he's more chubby um, than Gum uh, than Hun, not Gun. <laughs> dad Gum, <laughs> Dad Gun. He's more chubby, Dad Gum. Dad Gum. Yeah, and um, he. Uh, in the book, he actually uh, has a fake beard on. Uh, so in, what, what ends up happening is they end up uh, – like No, I said, Hun, the, Hun's the one that wears the fake beard. Hun does wear the, the fake beard. Thank you for looking it up on the PDF page. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> See, I act like I actually know all this stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, so they end up forming this, uh, this tag team uh, and uh, they go up against Mikey and Raph. And they they embark in this just massive, just epic uh, wrestling match, which Michelangelo and Raph ultimately end up winning. Um, of course, because they trip them and they crash into one another. It's very anticlimactic. <laughs> they just unstoppable force against an immovable object, right there. I, I, I guess so. So, but that's 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 all I have on Arnold. Because that's all that's, the people told me. I think that's all there is to know about Arnold. There is, that's the only thing he ever appeared in, and I think for good reason. But um, I love the play on his name because obviously Arnold. 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 Uh, eh. But it's it's uh, I, I was I was actually I don't pick random page when I look through the Wikipedia. I actually go through and select something I've never heard of Arnold. So I decided to. So you knew Arnold existed before you hit random page. No, I don't hit random page. Or you were looking up Hun, and there was like a click to Arnold right there, and you're like, "Oh, who's that?" And then no, um, I, I mean, I basically do random page, but I don't click random page. I, I scroll through, and then I uh, look for characters which I either don't really remember all that well, uh, right. or um, I've never heard of, or in some cases, depending on the mood, uh, obviously ones that are my favorites. So, in this gotcha. case, I don't think I've ever heard of Arnold. Uh, but I did look up the Lean Ground Smack, Lean Green Smackdown Machine book, and um, it, it's a good book for your kids. Mm. This is so. Uh, when would when did this come out? When did uh, do you know the uh, Lean Green Smackdown Machine? Yeah. Um, I've been trying to figure that out, and I haven't yet. So uh, go ahead and do the spotlights, and I'll figure that out. Okay. Uh, Darby, you're up. Uh, okay. Uh, I actually didn't click random page this time. I actually looked this character up because he was actually one of my favorite toys growing up. I remember having and playing with a lot. Uh, he appeared in the 1987 series, and his name is Mondo Gecko. Oh, I, mm-hmm. that was a good thing I did not do Mondo Gecko. I was very <laughs> You were thinking of him too, right? I was. That's why. But see, that's the thing. He's he's so memorable, even though he only appeared in two episodes. And he was my one of my favorite toys growing up. I don't know why. I don't know what it was about him. But I definitely just loved his toy. So Mondo Gecko, okay, for the people who don't know, is a mutant lizard. And he appeared in the 1987 series, and he was mutated in the same – batch of ooze as the turtles were he uh crawled through the the puddle of ooze at the same time the turtles were being mutated and he was instead of wandering over to splinter or like the turtles did he was actually picked up by a criminal mastermind known as mr x 
Mm. So Mr. X actually created, but turned Mondo Gecko into a life of crime. And in the 87 series, Michelangelo started having dreams about Mondo Gecko or the little lizard who was mutated at the same time as they were. And when they ran into each other, at first they would fight Michelangelo the whole whole time, kind of refusing to fight because he knew there was good in Mondo Gecko. And in the end, Gecko started feeling some sort of need to save Michelangelo from Mr. X many times and not knowing why. And then he kind of realized that he was a good guy and that Michelangelo was right. And he ends up moving into the sewers and becomes neighbors, quote unquote, with the turtles. And it's it's kind of funny when you think about it because the turtles have all these neighbors in the sewers and they never really visit them. <laughs> yeah, never true. really do. And um, and he was uh, a lot like the turtles. He uh, he was a skater. He had a turbocharged skateboard that he took around. I know Ryan would like the fact that he had a bass guitar as one of his weapons apparently and because ryan used to try to be a bass player back in the day used to try to be and he uh apparently uh, he showed up in another episode where he was he let himself get captured by dirk savage the mutant hunter to find out where all the other mutants were being taken like the punk frogs toka and razar and that's all i really have on him there's also he appears in the archie comics which i didn't know about I didn't know that he actually showed up in Archie comics as well, but it's a lot darker. He uh, shows up. uh, He's actually a bass player who has a pet lizard who accidentally gets covered in mutagen. So that's he he goes from being a human to a lizard instead of the other way around. Um, Really? You didn't know that Mondo Gecko is in the adventures, the, uh, the Archie series? Well, well, I didn't know until I looked him up and then, but what really got me was the, um, the Mighty Mutanimals Saga, yeah, which was a group of mutant animals that Mondo Gecko joined, only yep. to have them all be wiped out by the high tech gang of four. That's kind of where it ends on him. Is that in the Archie comics, he kind of met his end at the hands of the high tech gang of four. Doesn't really say anything after that. So I've got Archie Adventures. Or Archie Adventure Series, the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Adventures, issue 18, right on the cover, Mondo Gecko, in my nice. below, in a half pipe. Very nice. Actually, it's a sewer drain. It's like a half sewer pipe that uh, they're skateboarding in. And then the, the, the three other turtles are in the background. Yep. Yep. Great figure. So that's all I got on him. Great character. Nice. Well... Um, I'm going to keep it along the uh, the adventures line, uh, for lack of a better term. And I'm going to talk about a character named Bookworm. Do you guys remember Bookworm at all? Probably not, because he was one. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, I guess just one. One actual comic. Okay. You know what? He's not even, he's so random, he's not. Not even on the Turtlepedia page. Ooh, because you got to have the right spelling. It's mm-hmm. B O K W U R M. Yeah, he's uh, his occupation is very fitting. Just want to say, we'll let Ryan talk about him. <laughs> I will. All right, so um, he uh, is a character. He doesn't even have anything listed about him, too. <laughs> Yeah, There's so you know I'm nothing not about him. There on it. There's a picture of him and his stats, and that's it. Yep. Uh, so, and I've got the, the the reason. Okay, the way I came across this character was I was going through my old comics. Um, I've got uh, Adventure Special from Winter 1992 uh, from the uh, uh, you know the Archie series. And on the uh, the front, it's got uh, over on the side, on the left side, it's got uh, uh, like headshot of Splinter, Bookworm, and Monstrex, which is like a Siamese twin <laughs> of uh, let's see, that would be what like let me flip to the page here, uh, ah, Wolfman and it would be. 
man, this is crazy. It's like <laughs> wolf, it's like four monsters all put together. It's uh, Wolfman, uh, Dracula, uh, uh, Frankenstein's monster, um, and like the creature from the Black Lagoon, like all mixed into one character. But it's got the heads of uh, the, like the Wolfman, and <laughs> it's really weird. Anyway, maybe I'll maybe we'll talk about him later. Anyway, in that storyline, um, Splinter says uh, when they're trying to, f- he says, uh, "I'm not quite sure what we are to do next, my sons. This Monstrex is certainly that. If we realize X always stands for the unknown, I must ask the aid of the bookworm." And Donzella says, "The bookworm." Who in the sewers is that? So anyway, <laughs> they they head over to the uh, the library, the New York uh, Public Library, uh, and down somewhere deep deep down inside of the uh, the New York Public Library is a a mutant there who's uh, friends with Splinter, and he is a giant worm with uh, with hands, and he's got a a blue um, and gold. Um, like hood, and I don't even know what how the hell you describe this. It's like a he looks like a pharaoh. Okay, yeah, I guess something that's like what that. I mean. Yeah. When I saw him, that's what I thought. Um, something Middle Eastern, yeah. Um, so uh, so the turtles and 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 bookworm have a uh, have a talk, and um, and then they leave, and then that's. That's kind of it. <laughs> uh, they he's, yeah, he's there not, really is a bunch of very long, of there. But uh, uh, I, actually, more of his, uh, I guess, more information about Bookworm is actually available in dun, 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 the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Universe source book, <laughs> which is the. Yes. Okay, you get <laughs> all your that information from. The source book is awesome. All right. So, um, history. Uh, oh, no. Uh, so, I was just start from the beginning. Height, 5'11". Weight, 600 pounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, he doesn't look 600 pounds to me, by the way. Um, He's got a lot of meat. They're mu- He's, He's kind of jacked. Dense. Very dense. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, while dealing with the foe known as Monstrex, the TMNT are led by Splinter to a secret sub-basement beneath the New York Public Library. There they meet for the first time, the mutated being known only as Bookworm. Although Bookworm is reluctant to reveal very much about his past, he is, it's obvious he is one of the most intelligent and learned, learned creatures the Turtles have ever encountered. <laughs> Lucky for them, he is an old friend of Splinter's and is more willing to share his incredible... Uh, or more than willing to share his incredible knowledge and extensive resources with them. Bookworm's pleasure comes from attaining arcane knowledge that is now practically forgotten by everyone else. Wisely, he is on the side of justice and is a staunch ally of the turtles. As far as power and weapons go, uh, Bookworm is quite strong and muscular from lifting tons of books around in the <laughs> underground library. He is also quite uh, skilled in hurling These are books. pretty heavy books, apparently. Yeah, hurling books through the air as deadly weapons when nothing else is available. Can you make a book a, a deadly weapon? By sure you can. Is that, is oh, that yeah, if you throw it hard enough, definitely. Murdered by... You ever seen War and Peace? That book is massive. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Bookworm only resorts to physical violence, though, when he has absolutely no other choice. He must. Uh, oh, he much prefers to let logic and reason solve any disagreements. In Bookworm's personal credo, oh, the Bookworm's personal credo is knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. So that um, is half the battle. Interesting uh, character. I actually, I wish uh, that this character uh, showed up more. Uh, He's actually made three appearances. Really? Yes, uh, I had to look it up. I went on Comic Vine. Oh. Um, he made two appearances in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles present April O'Neil. It's a May saga. And then that one appearance in the Adventure Special. Oh, wow. So somebody did take him out of the, uh, uh, out of the, <laughs> the, the proverbial, uh, chest of, uh, random characters. 
<laughs> one point then. <laughs> yes, it looks that way. Um, side note, uh, the uh, Ling Green Smackdown machine yes. uh, came out September 1st, 2004. Okay, so it was during the 2003 series. Yes, which makes sense because of Hun. Right. And um, it was that same Hun, same kind of, same tattoo markings, same, right. oh, scars and, yep. and everything. So um, same markings and everything. Uh, Darby, has has Hun showed up in the uh, in the IDW series yet? Not yet. At he's least coming. not where I'm at. Yeah, he's coming. But, but we don't, uh, he I don't know if he's coming, but... The last issue I read ended with um, a few characters that we're very well aware of making their debut in the in the new IDW comic. Okay. So I'll leave it at that. I don't want to spoil too much, but uh, that uh, that's why I'm pretty excited about how the last comic that I read ended because I haven't gotten to the new one yet. So as of right now, Hun really hasn't – Done it. I mean, if he has, I don't. I don't really remember him, so it's pretty forgettable. Yeah. I mean, Angel's been around more than Hun has, and I do believe she actually is part of the Purple Dragons, but I don't think Hun has actually made an appearance well, Hun, yet. Hun's gonna have his own micro series issue coming up here, so maybe that's where he makes his debut. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, which well, a lot of he kind of looks like Sting. <laughs> oh, I could see that. Yeah. Sting the <laughs> rock star or Sting the wrestler. Yeah, you can go with both. Well, this one. yeah, I guess you could, but he's got the short blonde hair. Yeah, he's he's definitely a lot skinnier mm-hmm. than the. Uh, the but his arms are like just. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like somebody from like a like a Street Fighter, or like a maybe like a Tekken or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely a Tekken. I could yeah. see that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, oh, that was good. Yeah. Good. Good uh, character spot, I guess. Like yeah, I felt good about that one. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> before we uh, we finish up, though, we do have some uh, some feedback from uh, uh, friends of the show. Um, nice. We did uh, mention one earlier, uh, but uh, we do have another, and um, we got a uh, uh, we got a, a, a comment left on one of our uh, one of our. Uh, earlier episodes um, saying that uh, uh, great podcast uh, shout out uh, on Jay and Silent Bob brought me here um, never met anyone uh, into the turtles as much as I am uh, it's great to hear people uh, geeking out over one of my favorite subjects definitely listening to all of these uh, shame that there's only like 12 though <laughs> <laughs> yep uh, that's from uh, Jeremiah Vasquez so uh, Jeremiah, uh, once you catch up, um, uh, just skip episode one. You'll be fine. Well, yeah, definitely skip episode. One. I'd tell everybody that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you should just, what you, you should do is you should just actually like call it the pilot episode. Don't even call it episode I, one. Yeah. Just change the name it to is, pilot. It, well, some people call it like episode zero. Some people do that. Um, I probably should have done that in the first place, but. You know, it's already on there. You can't do much about it at this point. But, uh, yeah, Jeremiah, thanks for writing in. And, uh, um, you know, definitely uh, keep writing in. Um, yeah, that's, you know, we are huge Turtle fans too. So, uh, you know, definitely uh, we like to have that interaction with our listeners. Um, and uh, we, we, I did get a, a question. I wanted to mention uh, his name, um, Charles uh Caldwell, he uh, sent in a question, and Charles, I didn't forget about you. I've got a uh, a big uh, response for you once uh, uh, once I'm done with it because uh, he's got some more technical questions about podcasting, and um, he's thinking about getting into podcasting too. So, uh, uh, Charles, I'll get back to you uh, soon, um, and uh, I think it's gonna about do it. Um, uh, I'd uh, also uh, like to. Alex always has something. Think. Damn it! I don't know yep. why. That's sort of his thing. I, that's you, my thing. I don't know. Never. You never that's really remember to ask him if he has anything. You just try to end the show so yeah. abruptly. And Alex yeah. is like, dude. Um, remember my thing where I tell you that we're not done yet. I... <laughs> it's just a cue. Whenever I'd I say like, that, uh, I really don't this mean was, this the show is going to end. I just mean, Alex. Now's your time to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> this happened shortly, uh, shortly after 
our last podcast, which was uh, in late August, uh, Gary Rickleman uh, posted on our Facebook page. Um, uh, he's First of all, he complimented me, which I want to thank him for. Uh, he said, Alex, I could listen to you read the dictionary. Your voice is so soothing. Oh, man. I oh, come on. Yeah. And he also uh, you really drew want me to a sleep picture. fast, though. What? He also drew me a picture. Please accept oh. this picture oh. as a token of my affection. Uh, he, he, it was actually, it's a phenomenal drawing of, uh, Mikey, uh, new style Mikey, oh. uh, which looks pretty spot on. It looks phenomenal. So, um, I'll, uh, I'll re I'll tweet that picture. Yeah, just, definitely. Should. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, but yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Apparently I have a very soothing voice. Uh, so I'm going to keep talking now for a second. That's actually Ryan, who I think has the most soothing voice out of us. I think he has a creepy voice. Like it's 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 so, it's 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 soothing in an unsettling way. Yeah, I could definitely see it as a like I'm gonna kill you type of thing. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Ryan, we love you. <laughs> um, and see, if I listen to Ryan read the dictionary. I could find a cure for insomnia, like right there. Okay, no, hey, real quick story. So, just uh, my my wife's doing uh, grad school, uh, biology masters, and uh, she's writing these papers that are ridiculous, like about you know, cell biology and, and crazy stuff. But so I I proofread them for her when you know before she sends them out, and I have to. The only way I can read don't it, read them out loud, do you? No, I read them out loud, and I have to read it That's as like an evil it. scientist. That's the only way <laughs> they make any sense to me. <laughs> uh, That's awesome. I'll see if uh, I mean, but before we finish up here, I'll see if I can find one. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll read the next. Uh, um, uh, Alex, anything else that you need to uh, jump in with? Thank you for asking. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> now that he doesn't. All right, so here, here's here's what I have. Uh, okay, ready? What's on this? The Golgai apparatus is also a network of membranous cavities. Please don't. However, <laughs> unlike the ER, the cavities are not physically connected. <laughs> I could actually no. listen to that all day. Please don't. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Please do. No, no Please I can't. Please do. If just, anything, can you that, just that, record that, that, send it to me, and I'll definitely uh, – that, that will be your ringtone. Please. This is phenomenal. I went don't through stop. A, oh, no. Don't stop. No, this, this is not this, – this is good. I like it. <laughs> Well, no, you put the tip I, I, in. I'll, you got to put the rest. I'll, I'll oh, read, how about this? God. I'll read excerpts every episode. I'll read an excerpt from one of Jessica's papers. Please don't. <laughs> you should just like – if you really want to do like the evil scientist voice, you should read like a Baxter Stockman quote or something. Oh, OK. There you go. You do that. I don't know if it would be as funny. <laughs> I don't know if I would be as amused as I, as I was with this. Uh. <sighs> Okay. Maybe do both. Do both, and then we can judge. All right. Sounds good. Uh, we have something for next week or next month. Um, or, real yeah. quick, I should mention uh, that uh, I guess it was the – not uh, not yesterday, but the, the, the Friday before. Uh, so whatever date that is, <laughs> the 20th, I think, something. Um, I was on an episode of uh, WDW After Dark. Uh, it's a uh, – it's a You're always on that show. I, and not always. I'm, I'll probably. I, I mean, I hope to be on there more often. But um, I've been. Uh, this is my second time on that show, and uh, it's a video show. Uh, it's on YouTube, and uh, I'll put a link to it in the show notes. Had a great time talking about uh, 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 Disney. So if you're a Disney fan, uh, come on by. It's a. It's an adult themed show about Disney. So uh, you know, for any of the kiddies out there, uh, you know, just. Uh, but you're, so what that. do you guys do? Like talk about like uh, Cinderella's ass all day? Or, like, what do you <laughs> uh, damn, she's got back. 
I, well, they, that wouldn't be outside of the context of the show. No. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Did we so specifically boring, talk creepy? about that on this episode? Like, no, but that would not be out of the context. Like, of, you guys talk, like, okay, so, so Ariel, yeah. would you prefer the way she is or top half fish, bottom half human? Like, <laughs> I'll just take the all female, uh, the all, like, human um, version. Well, you know what? That's perfect. Because, but the version that can't talk. Oh, so much better. Oh, man, why didn't I think of that? That's, like, even better. It's a perfect woman right there. I think we're going to have to get you guys on the show as well. Because <laughs> that's pretty much spot on, <laughs> what this show is about. But Yeah, um, just send them this clip, and maybe they'll invite us on. There you go. There you go. I'm um, down. I grew up with Disney. Yeah. I mean, I don't have the flashy ears like you do. Well, that's I had that's ears. I had the flashy ears on the uh, on the show. Yeah, yep. flashy ears are fun. Yeah. Please, please, uh-huh. a moment to reflect. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, subscribe and rate us on iTunes, guys. Do we have any? Uh, do we have any recent uh, readings? I haven't even I haven't looked at it. I'm pulling it up right now. I don't think there's been any new ones lately. What the hell, guys? <laughs> oh no no whoa, we, got, whoa, we do whoa. have a couple of new ones here hey okay. hey all right hey you see that one that says turtles forever you see that one yeah uh, like throwing so frost a... axe sounds like this guy knows what he's talking about <laughs> uh okay so you know what? by the way frost axe such a cool last name i'm just gonna say it right now <laughs> man we've got a bunch Wow, okay, great. Yeah, so we're up to 11 ratings. Let's go. All right, Woo-hoo! I take it hey, back. I two. take it back. And a very appropriate, a very appropriate uh, rating now. I, I, I like that. That's like a four-and-a-half star rating. Okay, so we got one uh, by uh, John Yu. Uh, it's entitled Turtles. Uh, this one I think we reviewed already. I haven't listened yet, but I heard about this on Kevin Smith's podcast. A go bunch of Smodcasts. Week. Yeah. No, it, welcome, welcome to all of our Smodcast listeners, definitely. Um you know, you are amongst friends here. Uh, another one here um, uh, by J. Cad, uh, J. Brad K. <laughs> so I guess Brad J. K. was already taken. Uh, enjoying it so far. Getting back into the TMNT for the first time since childhood and found this podcast. So far, I'm enjoying it. Uh, and then he's got some uh, uh, production notes. Um, uh, the, actually, this one's a little older. So... Um, it talks about the audio being low. I'd definitely take care of that. And uh, logo needs some work, which we did that. So uh, yeah, We still need work on the logo. Well, yeah. I like your logo, man. It's a good logo. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, still needs some tweaking. Yeah, it was a good logo for putting it together in <laughs> like 10 minutes. Uh, but, this one's yeah. by uh, Thone Fo- uh, Frost Axe. That's uh, Darby's uh, new BFF. Uh, Apparently forever. so. Uh, I've been a Turtles fan for most of my life. However, digging the Turtles news gets rough. Uh, uh, and these guys do all the hard work for you and deliver it in an awesome, funny, informative platform. Darby is awesome, even though Alex is, has the best favorite turtle. Uh, he's on team. What? Uh, I've emailed the podcast with questions. They're always answered promptly. I love the show, and I have a feeling it's going to get very popular very soon. Keep it I still up. love Jay DeWitt. Jay DeWitt was pretty good, too. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. th- th- thanks, bud. I yeah, appreciate that. That was uh, one we that uh, Alex called a d bag. <laughs> yeah, he still. Oh, no, he called him a bag of a douche. Oh, yeah, that's, that's that's okay. what, whatever. You know what? Jay Dewey can go lick my damn. Hey up. man, you can't. You, if you're gonna put yourself <laughs> out there, you're gonna be re- You gotta be ready for the the criticism too. That's fine. Hey, I'm gonna, Jay, I'm gonna he this he said what I told Ryan a bunch of times about his his soothing voice. Jay, <laughs> if you're, if you're yeah. still listening, please let us know. If you're still listening, please tell me if I'm so boring. Yeah, Jay DeWitt, and let me know if I still have to smack you with my penis head. <laughs> oh man, uh, this is a uh, this is one's from. Uh, Can we bring Jay DeWitt on the show? This one's oh, from. I would, I would yeah, love dude. to go at it with this little sucker. Oh man, <laughs> this one's from Yeah, dude. He says, "Great podcast. Uh, uh, it's a great podcast if uh, to listen to if you're a TMNT fan. Heard about this on the Smodcast podcast. Loving it." And cool. last one from uh, Space Samurai, uh, covering all areas of turtle heard about this podcast being plugged on kevin smith's podcast love it uh they cover comics television toys and movies keep it up guys and please 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 more comic and toy talk bam I hope you overall good stuff look everybody loves us except for jay dewitt you dumbass 
Which is why we should bring him on. I think it would be very lively conversation if we did. Lively. It would definitely make Ryan less boring. Thanks. <laughs> what about uh, Song of the Show, guys? I still think Scientifically Accurate Ninja Turtles needs to be a Song of the Show. <laughs> that's, that's a video, though. Oh, you can't rip the audio from it? Well, you Come can, on. but that's more of a you got to watch the thing t- with it to uh, kind of get the full effect, right? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> I just totally off base with that. That song gets stuck in my head, man. Like, it's catchy. It is catchy. Alex, you got anything? Mm-mm. I'm, I was actually just looking over the ones that we've already played. Yeah. Um, we've played so much. <laughs> we've played an entire soundtrack. We, we, have, we have, but we've well, got so much more. So much, so more. much more. I've got like. Hey, I've hey. When is when is Jessica going to do April April's ballad for us? Hey, uh, she said she's do it. She'd do it as soon as we get some audio for it. So we'll get the audio for you. You're the engineer. I I'm not an audio engineer. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> it's the, no, there's a difference. Um, All right, if we have any fans out there who can actually like rip. Us the the instrumental the the music of April's ballad. Please do so for us and send it to us. This needs to happen. <laughs> yes, no, I, I agree. I, I I, I'm asking and any of our fans who are audio it, engineers who can do this for us, or or musicians. If if uh, or musicians, yeah. you know the music and you can do it. Yeah, if you can please help us out on this one, make an instrumental version of uh, April's ballad. Uh, Just is up for doing it, so. I'm going to go ahead and pick for the song of the show. I'm going to pick a song from the TMNT score. I'm going to pick a uh, song called Raf Quits. Because <laughs> the show's <Soccer>. over. <laughs> <laughs> the next score. song will be Donnie is Awesome. Since they we're did. doing Turtle. No, they songs. never made that song. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, once again, thanks for joining us on the Turtle Power Podcast. Check us out on our official website, www.turtlepowerpodcast.com. Follow us on Twitter at TMNT Podcast. Follow myself at Fig Don Pat. Follow Alex at A Rodriguez 2005. You can follow Darby at Lobo DTP. And this like time, Darby's not paying attention. There we go. <laughs> I had to get it back because last time, last episode. <laughs> see, notice Alex was paying attention this time. Oh, I great. was paying attention. I was just waiting to see what you were going to do. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. That's, 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 there you go. That's good back. Ah, I was like, okay, Ryan's going to keep going with his spiel there, the usual one. Yep. yep. Uh, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash turtle power podcast. There's been something up. Our. I feel like our tweets haven't been going to Facebook lately. I don't know why. It's some sort of. Do we have to? Did you check to see if we? Oh, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Um, and uh, so you can connect with us though through any of those means. Uh, but then uh, you can also uh, share your feedback with us via old-fashioned email: turtlepowerpodcast at gmail dot com. Once again, just a reminder: if we have any audio engineer fans out there, April's April's ballad. There. And uh, once again, if anybody knows Jay DeWitt, please just punch him in the face for me. Oh, no, 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 no. Invite him on the show. <sighs> After. Guys, so that, that is going to officially do it for us, though. And... Oh, real quick, real quick before oh. I forget. No, oh, right. oh, Alex cuts us off again. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. I'm just, I'm, oh, you... I'm just joshing. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I got something. I got something. No, you don't. No, I don't. No. <laughs> Bossa Nova. I haven't said that yet. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Guys, thanks so much for listening. This is going to be Raph Quits. 